So in the previous videos, I used PDQ deploy to deploy once on a single computer. But this is the first time I'm actually trying it. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, so it is actually the uh, trial and error video. And for that, you can see I actually fired up all the machines. Uh, I didn't want to do it on the um, like uh, on the camera uh, because it, uh, I'm sh uh, capturing this over a phone. Uh, so I wanted to just do the basic step. It's a very advanced video as well, uh, based on like I'm not uh, going through each step. Uh, I'm assuming that you have seen the previous videos. If you have not, I will put the links in the description so you can know what were the um, uh, prerequisite uh, steps that we did. And now I just I have all the installers like uh, created in the previous videos. I'm gonna just deploy them to all of the machine you can see uh, that's a windows 7 on the right this is the um it had firefox installed already i uninstall just in uninstall it uh you see these three they are identical because uh, they're cloned to each other yeah if you have seen all of my videos you would know how i did uh, all of that where basically we did the backup things and deployed things the imaging thing all that and this is a actual uh, so all these four they are virtual machines they are running on my windows 10 over here but this here it's the physical laptop uh, and it's running on windows 7 as well so right there is my server there you go and we have the firefox here we want to deploy it to target list nope my bad basically target is that you choose uh, like you know that uh, 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 like there is a department a uh, taxation and then there is a department for HR and then there is another department for um, uh, auditing all that so you can uh, add their computers and you know which software package to send to them so you basically don't have to go each time and select them so that's for that uh, we're gonna go deploy once again we're gonna click on targets so you see we have to each time we deploy we have to go and select all the targets so that was a nice feature right there we're gonna click on server 19 server 19 is the this one computer windows 10 and actually you see i am seeing this two laptops and the windows 10 but i don't see the test 2 and test uh, uh, one over there that's because that uh, I need to do some settings uh, basically the setting is that uh, you have to uh, let's see uh, they are not added here basically and the setting needs to be done is uh, let's go here they are not added in the I hope I clicked on the right thing right there so if you can see it's not in computers so they are not in the computers even though they are using the um, uh, our active directory domain um, users uh, what happened is I changed the IP address and uh, they uh, fallen off the wagon so I'm gonna go and put the IP addresses back so they can show up here and then I'm gonna continue this video all right, so I'm back. Uh, I fixed it uh, again. Uh, it was out of the scope, so I did not make video of it. But just a quick hint, if your d uh, computer fall off of your Active Directory, just go and re-add it. Like, make it up, uh, turn it back to a work group and then back to a domain, and it will uh, work. I haven't tested it out, so if what I'm saying is correct when I refresh it those computers should show up here and you can see test 2 and all that oh Windows 10 is now gone I have to do the same for Windows 10 this is this machine uh, let me do that and see you can see the test 1 and 2 came back so what was happening is because the these machines were a copy of this one test Windows 10 
so that's why only Windows 10 was showing up here and not the these other two now Windows 10 is gone I'm gonna do the same step and I will be back all right I'm back so let's try it one more time over there oops and bring Windows 10 here and it's right there so we're ready to deploy oh, god it was long all right so let's get to the part where we left uh, of Firefox you see it's installed on none of the machines uh, not here and not there I in the last video I installed it on this laptop but I have already uninstalled it over there so we should be good to go we're gonna again we're gonna just click on it uh, either deploy once or this either one so we click over there choose targets we're working with the Active Directory so we're gonna get all the computers name home here this is server we leave it uh, it did not take the tests here. Okay, cancel, 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 and let's launch PDQ again. If I go out of focus, please forgive me. Uh, it's very hard working with this uh, uh, cell phone in hand. All right, so I'm gonna click on deploy once. See if we have all the computers now. And we do. Get everything, we're gonna server 19, we don't want to. We want test, yes. We want test two, yep. Windows 10, of course. Laptop, Windows 7 PC, that's the virtual machine, this one, yes. We are gonna leave Windows 8 here alone because uh, Windows 8 is over there. Uh, it's a physical machine another one and it has already has our um, uh, It's already has installed so for some reason it's giving me target not found in domain name server not found in domain name servers So it's leaving two of the machines out uh, Basically this and that <coughs> Let's see what happens. Let's deploy. Trial and error, right? So we can see two of the machine already failed that it could not find. But for the other one, it's trying to connect. I'm gonna pause the video here and we'll pick it up. Uh, it says the first machine got connected. So I think it's going one by one. Oh, no. It, can go simultaneously as well uh, let's go back here and see what's going on on all the machines uh, Windows, we can leave the Windows 7 back there because it's not picked up uh, the laptop did Windows 10 did and test 2 did so you can see Firefox uh, uh, right here Firefox appeared and as well on this one so three out of five machines they were successful two of them i need to figure out why it didn't work but that's how you deploy on multiple uh, machines at once i'm pretty sure it's something with the dns settings i'm gonna go and dig down deeper thank you for watching this video and uh, it was a trial and error uh, if you like this video please share comment subscribe and give a thumbs up good night